said never works. Oil's good. Let's fire up. Sweet. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartford Family Farms. The shed is going up. Nice. So today, I'm going to be hauling grain. ADM has a positive 20 cent basis. Because of that, I guess I sold 5,000 loads of uh, corn or 5,000 bushel of corn of my dad and mine. So it's not great. It's cash price of 434, but it's better than 380 like some people have. So we also have a surprise on the farm that I am super excited about that I've hinted at pretty strongly. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that guy here a little bit later. That'll be a, that'll be in a, in a future video. But for now, I need to get moving. Gonna fill up with a little bit of diesel. Got to, got to go over to Delmar and start fill up and just try to get three loads in today. All right, let's hit the road. Going up. Just got here. I weighed in and now we'll uh, start filling me up. Hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long, but the line's already getting long down at ADM. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I just got loaded. And bad news is ADM's line, they have an app that basically tells you how long the line is. It keeps growing and growing and growing. It's already over an hour and a half. Not good. So much for me getting the three loads in today. It's probably gonna be two if I'm lucky. Southbound and down. It sounds like they are broke down. So just my luck. Take vacation, I have to take vacation and they broke down. Absolutely no rush. I bet I'm going to be here for probably three hours or so ish. We'll see. <sighs> what do you do? There's my favorite squirrels. You guys are thinning up over your winter hibernation. Well, I can't wait to see how big this line is. So basically this place has three dumps normally. Two of them are like really fast. One of them is not bad. And the two really fast ones are broke down. I appreciate that. Well, this is a pleasant sight. It uh, looks like all of, I mean, this line is moving now. I've been here for two hours. They must have all the dumps open because this line is really moving. Coming back up, because I am moving now. Let's go. Well, that was fun. I uh, waited in line for about two hours or so, and then the lines, then they got the other dumps open up, and shoot, that line just flew. So I made it back here at 3.30 or so. Get filled up and back on the road by 3:45. Back down to ADM, no problem. By uh, hopefully 4:30, and I'm hoping to get back up back here again and fill up third time. So I sold five loads, basically 5,200 bushel, at a price of 4:34, and that price dropped to uh, 4:23 today. So I sold at the right time. Just such gold price just going down and down and down and down. Dick. What do you do? So I'm gonna fill up here as quick as I can and then get back down there. Heading south again. Made it back here in exactly an hour and a half. Not too bad of a round trip. 35 minutes to get there, 35 minutes back, and 20 minutes to load. Not too bad. Getting probed. That train is just taking off. Big old diesel engine purring. So it's a drive through now, which is thankfully awesome. It means I'll be able to get in and out and get back to load up one more time before uh, the elevator closes. Well, they'll be closed, but they just said I could just load up by myself, which I'm okay with. Well, I'm sitting here on the inbound scale because my grade isn't in yet for some reason. Weird. Hope one if I'm on an alpha toxin test, I'm not sure. Dump the air and set you guys down to get full of dust. Let's 
Joe. This box has been screwing up all the time, a lot lately. There we go. I don't know why that box has been doing that lately. Heading back, you'll get filled up one last time. First two into 2024, I see. Oh. It's a little case and a disc. Nice. Look at this gem that I see in Kunal's lot. Look right up towards the cornfield. We'll see a bunch of red tractors and then a lime green one. Yeah, they had a case Steiger in there with the original lime green Steiger paint job. That is awesome. Looks like a newer one too. I've never seen that before. Getting filled one last time. I was hoping I would get three loads in. I'll get two and a half. I'll be filled up on my third. That breakdown ADM that I sat there for two and a half hours definitely didn't help. So we'll get filled up at least. Beautiful sunset. Dumping. They're filling. It's right out of the side chute. Sweet 4022. Just got loaded up. Gonna get weighed out and then head out. Head back to the farm. Let's bounce, let's head home, and then head home home. Good enough for the night, guys. Two loads in, one load loaded up. Gonna be good. I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. guys good morning let's get to it this girl's all warmed up let's hit the road jack don't you come back till i get three more three more three more three more fill it up again yeah uh hauling this far definitely drains the wallet the diesel a little bit by the way it is ffa week this week so i uh, i see the fine folks at northeast high school look at all them tractors nice the annual driver track to school day. Nice. Oh, I love it. They got anything from the classic 8860 to 8Rs, 8R370s. Hey, those notes. They've got an old John Deere Model A. Oh, that's awesome. Looks like I got me some runoff or some erosion happening right there. Not good. So when I left, the app said a 45 minute wait. That's fine. That's always fine. Well, it's just going to be what it is. Honestly, well, surprised because the corn, price of corn, local corn has dropped below $4 for the first time in years. So that basically means every truckload of corn, instead of it being worth $5,000 plus, it's worth less than $4. Oof. Just made it to the processor. Check in. Great, another freaking line. The only thing I'm gonna say, guys, but I am sick and tired of this place always breaking down. Always, always broken down. I don't know why. They literally can never keep anything running. Okay, negativity over. Let's go sit in line for an hour and a half. That local elevator right now must be dumping their corn pile. I bet that's where a lot of these trucks are coming from. Yeah, I bet they probably have 20 trucks running just for them, at least. Well, so I wasn't exactly right, but I was kind of right. Broke down and went down to two dumps instead of just one. Neat. And they close their hours to three instead of five. Oh well. Look at that clean Peterbilt. Fresh paint on the frame. Also, it just might be a new truck, but man, that's a truck. Look at that guy. Really filling. 
cleaning bins out. Filled up, tarped up. Processor is closed, so unfortunately I can't go dump this because that, why would they be open? Sorry, I promise that there'd be no negativity, but it's just, it's just tough. So now I'll go ahead and park this thing or take this thing home and park it, deliver it tomorrow or Sunday. Whew, made it back. A lot earlier than I thought, but you know what? Gonna do what it is. I'm gonna go park this unit right here. Let this guy cool down for a little bit, then I'll walk back. Good enough. Let's go see what else I can get into. One thing I forgot to tell you guys is they did get the harvest door completely cleaned out. So that's good. That's kind of why the auger's away from the harvest door. Everything is uh, cleaned out for the year for that thing. So that's pretty nice. Grab something in this truck and then see what Patrick's up to. He should be right behind the house in the skid loader. Gave some lick tubs to the cattle. But hey, now we are going to uh, hop in this truck. Curtis just got back with it. And we're going to go fill this guy up back over at Delmore. I was just at. You guys are out and about. Here comes one of Everhart's spreaders. Killing. That's how you feel quick here. No, oh, quick ish. That's pretty slow. Build up. Let's head home. Truck's almost right at 800,000 miles. Not too shabby. Just about made it back. So we're all done hauling grain for the day. Pat's off uh, delivering a load of bean meal. Uh, the boys, I'm not even sure where they're at. They're guessing Curtis is checking calves and Nathan's off. I don't even know what Nathan's doing. But Darren and I are gonna grab the uh, grab some parts off of the mystery surprise that uh, you guys don't know anything about. And then I'm probably gonna call our night come back up on Sunday and then explain a little bit more about what this surprise actually is and what it's for. I'm pretty pumped about it, guys, if you guys can't tell. Gotta get this stuff off of here. Yep. Yeah, this is, yeah. Terry, you didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't see that. That didn't happen. <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna be heading out for the day. It's getting a little cold. It's definitely not the 65 degrees that we had the other day. Whew, no it is not. But I got some reading to do and we'll be back up on Sunday to uh, do some more fun, fancy stuff. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. We are, don't worry guys, we are getting into the busy season. We are going to be starting actually field work on Sunday. It's going to be pretty exciting. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Stay safe and ta-ta for now.